Welcome to question number 12. It says in a scale drawing, one half inch represents three feet. If the same scale is used, how many inches will be needed to represent 24 feet? Sounds like another great opportunity to use proportions. So we have one inch, half an inch, excuse me, equals or is representing three feet. So one half of an inch is to three feet as we're going to write equals and set up another fraction on this side. So this is a proportion. We've got the same scale as used, so I know one half of an inch is still going to be three feet, but now I need it to represent 24 feet. So how many inches is that going to be? So 24 feet, I don't know. I'm going to say x. I'm going to calculate this out. So you can cross multiply from here. I'm just going to use the numbers now. I'm not going to deal with the units until the very end again. So I'm cross multiplying those values. I've got 1 half times 24 equals 3 times x, or just 3x. Half of 24 is 12. And then if you divide both sides there by 3, you'll get your answer. So it looks like x equals 4. And this is in inches. This value right here was in inches. So we've got x is 4 inches. Now you could have looked up here, just like I've said in a couple of our previous videos dealing with proportions, you could have multiplied three times eight. If you notice that, then you could have multiplied the top by the same number. One half times eight would give you four, just like we got here. So either way, you do the problem. You still get four inches as your final answer. Number 12, choice B.